so welcome to my youtube channel once again today i am back with another interesting question so as you can see in this figure first of all we have a quarter circle then a big semicircle and then a small semicircle this is the common point of contact now this uh, quarter circle has a radius of uh, six units which is given to us and we have to find the area of this shaded region let me erase this so area of this shaded region will be equal to the area of quarter circle minus area of this big semicircle minus area of this small semicircle so area of quarter circle will be pi times its radius squared that is 6 squared upon 4 area of big circle will be pi times radius squared upon 2 because it is a semicircle so we can see here this distance AO is the radius of quarter circle which is 6 units and this 6 units will be the diameter for this bigger semicircle so its radius will be 3 units so here it will be 3 squared now area of small circle is pi times radius squared so here directly radius is not given so let us assume the radius to be small r so we can write pi r square because it is a semicircle so it will be upon 2 so if we can find the small r we can find the area of the shaded region so we will focus over finding the radius of this small semicircle for that let us do one modification we will join point p and q this pq line segment will pass through this common point which is the point of uh, contact between these two semicircles let us name this point as uh, m so you might be wondering why this point m is on this line segment PQ for that we have a theorem that if we have two circles and they are touching each other this is the common point between these two circles and if these two points are the center then if you join the centers this line segment will pass through the common point of contact so this is a theorem so using this theorem we get that if we join the center point P and center point Q the common point of contact M will lie on this line segment. Now let us focus in triangle POQ. So here the measure of PO will be half of 6 that is 3 units. OQ will be 6 minus small r and this distance will be this is 3 units and this is r so pq will be 3 plus r now let us apply pythagorean theorem in this triangle so the hypotenuse squared that is pq squared so that is 3 plus r whole squared is equal to this 6 minus r whole squared plus 3 squared now let us expand this bracket using identity a plus b whole square so we will get 3 squared that is 9 plus r squared plus 6 r equals here we will expand using identity a minus b whole square so this will be 36 plus r square minus 12 r then 3 squared will be 9 r square r square will get cancelled likewise 9 and 9 can be cancelled this 12 r can be shifted on lhs so 12 r plus 6 r will be 18 r is equal to here we have 36 so 36 so r will be 36 divided by 18 that is 2 so we can replace r by 2 now let us simplify this so this will be 6 squared 36 upon 4 9 
so first term will be 9 pi second one 3 square pi will be 9 pi divided by 2 then minus 2 squared will be 4 pi by 2 that is 2 pi so we can subtract 2 pi from 9 pi so we will get 7 pi minus 9 pi divided by 2 we will take lcm as 2 so this will be 14 pi minus 9 pi which is 5 pi so this will be equal to 14 pi minus 9 pi is 5 pi divided by 2 square units so the area of this shaded purple region will be 5 pi upon 2 square units if you want you can further substitute pi as 22 upon 7 or 3.14 and you can find the value in decimals if you like this video share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe my channel